Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Uh, I was intending to do another video in my series of uh, tests on the Mucor V06. However, uh, something happened which uh, made, me, made me want it even more. Now, I've been in the motor trade a lot of years and, I, and I've been driving cars a lot of years. And over the years, I have, uh, my, my mate calls it a, a, my utility belt, like Batman. Stuff I always carry with me. Uh, stuff I always keep in the, the boot of my car. And the, the kind of essentials, and they've got me out of so many sticky situations uh, where you could have been stranded somewhere or, or whatever. But I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll just go through them. For instance, <laughs> I don't smoke. I carry a lighter everywhere I go. A proper torch with proper batteries, that, which also flashes. So I've got that, I'll put that in the back. Some gaffer tape, essential. Tie wraps, which are, are in the boot. Um, a Swiss Army knife. Again, I don't carry this on my person. Um, it's, it's in the car and obviously it's very emergencies only, but uh, the, these, I've had one of these since, I don't know, since I was in the Cubs probably. And uh, again, you, you should always have one of those. Then recently, of course, a tire inflator. Now that's the size of the tire inflator. So you switch it on like so, and that's it. You set the, the tire pressure you can up there that's psi and so on and uh, and then you just <laughs> click like so this morning i came to my car it was parked on a road it was flat that it was as flat as anything it was lashing down with rain uh, and there was a bolt in my tire brand new tire bolt in it um as i say it was lashing down i put this on I put a plastic bag around it because it was it was like a monsoon and it pumped the tire up got me to the you know for somebody else to to take the wheel off because car's massive and jacking this thing up is a, is a nightmare also again these battery packs they used to be massive and you couldn't get one now this came in handy the other day and this a lot a lot of this is to do with being an impatient idiot um, and circumstances kind of coming together to defeat me. And what happened, we have five Range Rovers in stock and I always drive a Range Rover. The weather's been awful, it's been, it's been snowing, it's been very, very icy, it was minus four. And the car that I was using had been serviced, it was clean, there was loads of fuel in it. Um, and then somebody, <laughs> some rotter rang up and left a deposit on it. So once cars are sold, I never use them and, and, until they go out. Um, fortunately, we've got another Range Rover which was clean, had fuel in it, um, had been serviced and so on. And so I put all my stuff in that. I carry all this, as I say, I carry all this stuff. I put it all in the back of the, the other Range Rover. And lo and behold, somebody rang up and and left it well no they turned up they turned up and bought it there and then which left me with this one which is a beautiful car it's a beautiful car but we've been so busy we've just not managed to get round to it um it, it had been uh, it had just been stood at, at the end of the forecourt for probably about two weeks not been used or anything anyway I opened the boot, put all my stuff in it. Of course, it was pitch black, the, the lights were on. Um, by the time I'd done everything, got in it, turned the ignition key, and it, uh, and then started. So, of course, I, I made a mental note to uh, charge it the next day. It was, it was home time. There was no fuel in it. I set off fuel lights glowing away I've got to get some fuel I've got the heated steering wheel on the heated seats the heated front screen the heated rear screen headlights are on and, and so on gets to the petrol station the fuel station put some diesel in it gets back in the car uh, 
Now this time, and this is when you know you're in trouble, the screen went black. It, the, the battery was so flat that as it was cranking, it took all the power and it went black. That was it, there, there was no power. And then it, uh, it <laughs> well, I, I, I'm in trouble. I'm at a fuel pump, it's busy, it's blooming snowing as well. So fortunately, lifts the bonnet, gets, sorry, gets my jump, my jump pack, starts the jump pack, goes to put it in gear, it won't go in gear. All sorts of management lights on, on the dash, which happens when the battery goes flat, because everything loses connection with, it, with each other and it thinks it's a massive internal failure. So uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering what to do. Then I remembered, <laughs> I've still got this that Mucar, or Mucar, however you want to pronounce it, sent me. I'm not kidding. This, is, this has been an absolute godsend. It saved us endless amounts of money. So, switches it on. Puts the Bluetooth dongle in. And honestly, the, what had happened, the ECU had lost contact with the brakes and the ABS system. The car thinks it's not safe to drive because there's a massive fault on the brakes and it won't let you put it in gear. It won't let you drive because it knows you're not going to be able to stop. Put this in, cleared the codes and that was it. I was away. So <laughs> thank you, Muka. Otherwise, I'd have either had to wait for somebody to come out to me um, called a breakdown recovery, more likely John or Northwest Auto Care to come and get me, but I'd have been there probably two or three hours. So now, along with all those things that I carry and a tow rope, I will be carrying in the boot of my car, wherever I go, <laughs> a muco. Um, having said that, I've also seen they, they do like a little dongle thing. So um, I'm going to ask them to send me one of those and, I, and I'm going to try those, but they're about 50 quid. But honestly, just, you know, the cost of a breakdown, how much would that be, uh, a breakdown truck to come and move you? I'm right in front of the fuel pumps, and not only I'm in front of the fuel pumps, but nobody else could get past me. So I'm destroying this guy's business. Uh, it was just a complete nightmare. I, I, you know, I, all my own fault, um, brought on myself, saved by them. So... I, honestly, I can I can thoroughly recommend it. Thanks for watching.